Well, thanks everybody for hopping on to reach roll and release. Sorry for some of the technical difficulties, but since we don't have a ton of time, we'll just do a little bit of warm up just to get our arms and upper body warmed up a little bit. And I will do my best to try to fit in uh, each of these different stretches. But let's just start with doing some arm circles. We'll just do some small ones forward. We'll do some small ones forward. Then we'll do some small ones backwards. Just to get our arms, you can rotate those wrists. You can really get, you know, practice your, uh, Oh, wow, I just lost the word that I was looking for. Hand-eye coordination, there we go. All right, let's do some small ones backwards. <clears throat> you start making them a little bigger backwards. You hear grinding, it's not a terrible thing. It just means that your uh, muscles and ligaments are moving. All right, we can reverse that and we can go some big circles forward. All right, all sorts of grinding in my shoulders. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. So put those shoulders up to those ears and then push them down away from those ears. So you just don't know the answer to a question, push them down away. Make sure you're doing some nice deep breaths. Just trying to get our upper body warmed up. All right, we're gonna do what I call the waitress reaches. So your arms are gonna be at your side at a 90 degree angle, palms up. You're gonna reach forward and twist those arms, uh, twist those wrists. So you'll start with your palms, or end with your palms down. So you start with your palms up, go out and your palms end up down. And when you go back, you're squeezing that back, those shoulder blades together. So your elbows at your side, squeeze those shoulder blades, and then really reach forward, open up those shoulder blades. Reach forward, palms down, go back, squeeze, palms up. All right. And then we're just gonna do some trunk rotations. So your arms will be at your side at that 90 degree angle and we're just gonna rotate to the left, try to keep that body on alignment. Your neck, your chest, belly button should all be in the same direction. So your core is what is rotating you. Nice, slow, this isn't a rapid one. Just rotating, keeping that core engaged, keeping everything lined up as you're rotating back and forth. Keep that. Breathing going, nice slow rotations. All right, great job everybody. You can shake that out a little bit. So similar to when we did the lower body, we're gonna uh, do like biceps, triceps, work our way down to like our forearms. We'll get some shoulders in. But we're first gonna start off with our biceps. Um, so you can pick if you wanna start with your right or left bicep. But we're just going to start by kneading and massaging that bicep. Um, we'll do this for a little bit, uh, maybe 30 seconds or so. Um, and then we will do a nice bicep stretch. So just massaging that out. Go all the way and get into where that elbow is. The inside of your bicep, the outside of your bicep. <clears throat> just massaging. It on the top and all the way down. Try not to get on the back yet to the tricep. We'll get to the tricep in a moment, unless you want to give it a really good massage. Let's try to really focus on just that bicep. You want to make sure it's nice and relaxed. Try not to have it flexed as you're doing this. All right. And then if you need to switch over now and start massaging that other one. <clears throat> kind of wish I had one of those massage balls. I really like the ones that have like the pokey things on it for some reason. I don't like it on my bare skin, but I like it like rolling over like if I have a long sleeve. I really like the feeling of that one for some reason. So you can do a little kneading if you want. 
we find a spot that's super sore. All right, so we're going to be doing a, a bicep stretch uh, that's seated. You can do it on a chair, you can do it on the ground. But what you're going to do is you're going to get your hands with your palms facing back and you're going to do a slight I'm trying to remember this now um you're going to do a slight lean forward so oh that's this way i'm sorry your palms are facing i was like that doesn't feel right your palms are facing forward your wrists and your arms are straight and you're going to do a nice lean forward you should feel a stretch in the top you should also feel your biceps start to really start to pull You guys feeling that stretch? You know, it's nice, straight. You feel a nice stretch all the way up to that bicep. Your palms can come off the ground a little bit. Um, they don't have to be straight on there. All right. Hold that there for a little bit. Keep those arms straight. All right, and you can release. All right, let's move on now over to those triceps. So you can go back and start massaging the back of that arm there, um, up into that shoulder, all the way down. My triceps are always so tight and tender for some reason. Nice. You find that spot that's real tender. I always find right back in the middle back here. I find this really tender spot. Maybe it's a trigger point. I'm not really sure, but I always try to just rub it out a little bit. Like I said, none of this should be hurting. So if you're doing any of these motions and you find something that's really hurting, go gentle on it. You know, we're not trying to, it's supposed to be a recovery series, not an injury series. <laughs> Just do a little bit longer here, and then we'll do a good old tricep stretch. All right, so we want to get to that palm on the base of the neck, elbow bent, and you're going to pull that arm back. Good old fashioned tricep stretch. Make sure you're sitting up nice and straight. Try not to slouch or lean over. Just pulling that tricep back, get a nice stretch. Try to keep that arm upright. Feel that nice stretch. That palm should be by base of the neck, maybe even the top of your back, flat against your back. Just a few more seconds here, we'll release. All right, you can let that tricep go down. Let's go over to our other one now. Really get the nice tricep stretch. Do some kneading with your fingers. You can use that thumb. You can use that ro uh, rolling ball, massager ball. I'm not really sure, massage ball, that's what they're probably called. All right, you can do some squeezing kind of, just some like, just to get some pressure, push. You can also, if you can just go down the muscle with your fingers, do some long pressure rolls. If you have any lotion or anything, that's always nice to use that. It helps not have so much friction on your arms. All right, and let's go back and stretch out that other tricep. So palm on the back of that neck. Let's pull that tricep back. So hold this here for a little bit. Feel that nice pull. Everybody is looking great. Try to keep that arm nice and straight. Sit up nice and straight. Just pull that elbow back. Just feel that nice stretch all on that tricep, probably even down maybe in that lat a little bit. Make sure you guys are taking nice deep breaths. I know I find when I'm really sore and I'm stretching a certain muscle, I hold my breath because uh, <laughs> I 
It uh, starts to not feel so great. All right, and we can release that one. Shake it out a little bit. I'm gonna get a little sip of water. Keep our... Brooke made a really good point. I just wanna kind of hit it home. For those who have some more flexible joints, I know that I have that when my sh with my shoulder. Brooke said to keep that arm nice and straight. Um, just kind of keep that in mind. I don't know if you guys can see me because I know Brooke is highlighted, but if I don't keep my arm straight, I can actually hyperextend my shoulder pretty far back. And that's not doing anything for my muscles. That's just stretching out my shoulder and making it do absolutely nothing for me. So just kind of keeping that in mind that you want to only go so far to where you're just feeling those muscles working more than hyperextending and stretching out those joints. Yes. Now I'm cracking. Look what I do for you guys. Try and show you what not to do and end up kinking myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to transition now into our uh, forearms. So we're going to do a similar thing, some nice massage, and then we're just going to stretch out that forearm. Um, kind of working our way down our arms, then we'll transition up into our shoulders and our back and our chest. See if we actually get to that. My time got taken away. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just keep rolling out, massaging that forearm. You can also do the top of your forearm as well. I think we often forget all these little muscles up here on the top of our forearm, we use a ton when we're typing, texting, grabbing things. I know that right here, this muscle, could make up some name for it, is always so tender on my arm for me. Um, so we'll just take some time here to roll it out. If you have that massager ball, feel free to get all the parts there. Sam's doing a great adaptation. I don't know if you guys can see him. He is holding that roller yeah. and being able to roll his forearm along it almost like a violin i know some folks will just like to put the ball like on a tabletop and then they can push their forearm on top of it sometimes that's a little easier than trying to like juggle the ball around their arm yeah genius sam genius all right so let's do a little bit of stretching here so we're just going to get our hands, arms are going to be straight, they can be bent if you want, and you're just going to pull that wrist back, um, let's keep them straight actually, and you'll feel that stretch all underneath, you're just pulling those fingers back, arms are straight, and we'll hold this for a little bit, and then we'll switch, um, so we'll get the top of our, um, all right, perfect. And now you're going to gently pull that palm down. So you're going to feel the top um, of your arm. You're just going to push those arms, that palm down. And then we're going to do it one more time with the fingers going up. And then we'll do one more time going down. Yeah, the top of my forearm is always a way more sensitive. Tight, I should say. All right, and let's switch and pull those fingers back. Get a nice stretch. Keep holding it there a few more seconds. All right, and let's switch back down one more time. Get that top of that forearm. Our hands will thank us as we, our forearms, as we're typing, texting, picking up things today. All right, you can. Shake that out a little bit and we will um, go over now into our other arm, other forearm. Again, you can use that massage ball. You can do like Sam did and get the uh, massager, like the roller if you want. Um, you can use that palm of your hand. You can use the fingers to knead and push. Just finding those spots, finding those muscles giving them a nice little massage, letting them release all those toxins, loosen up a little bit, help them recover. Make sure you're getting the top and the bottom of that forearm, all the way up and even into that like wrist a little bit. We'll do our hands here in a moment. Um, all right, a few more seconds of massage, and then we will go and do those stretches. 
stretches again. All right, so let's put those palms up and pull those fingers back, arms straight. And we'll stretch out the bottom of that forearm. You can probably feel it even up in that wrist a little bit. My right, I'm right hand dominant, so this definitely feels a lot tighter for me than my left hand did. All right, and now let's go down and pull that palm down and get the top of that forearm. Keep breathing, keep feeling that nice stretch. We're gonna go back again like with the other one and do the fingers back here in a moment. All right, and let's switch now, palms and fingers up. Feel that nice stretch. And down one last time. All right, just hold it there a few more seconds. And release. Awesome job. Alrighty, we're gonna actually do a little bit with our hands. I know that so often they get super neglected. Um, we think about all these big muscle groups on us. And um, as Gwen was just saying, you know, with all this massage and stuff that we use, you know, we need to not forget about our hands. So we're actually just going to do a little bit of a hand massage, you know, getting in between that thumb and that pointer finger, um, just rolling out, maybe rolling up on each individual finger. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and just giving our, ourselves a nice little hand massage. And we will indeed be doing some hand stretches. If any of you guys have been on the um, Stay Home, Stay Fit program, Nicole does some pretty killer hand, that's like a hand workout. At first when I saw what we were gonna do, I was like, oh, that won't burn. And like my hand was like sore. It was like the strangest experience. All right, let's transition over now and start massaging that opposite hand. If you feel any uh, areas where uh, there's almost like ball, like knots in your hand, I heard that like sometimes nerves in our hands can kind of get like caught up in each other and you'll kind of feel like uh, it's kind of like crunching. Um, I don't know how to describe it. I just felt one in my hand right now. That's what reminded me of that. And it's often in your dominant hand that that happens because we use it so much. Make sure to try to get up and down on those fingers, rolling them out. And that thumb. All right, and now we're gonna put our hands out and we're gonna open them, extend nice and wide, as big as we can. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start um, doing each finger to our thumb. So we're gonna do still like extended and very static, you're gonna do each finger touching that thumb and you're gonna press them together. So we're just gonna go back and forth, pressing those together. And then we'll do one more. So once you go one more back all the way down and then once you get to the middle, let's do one more big stretch. And then we're gonna hold this for a little bit and then we're gonna clench our hands into fists really tight and then we're gonna go back out into a stretch, okay? So a few more seconds of stretch. And let's do three, two, one, and now go and clench that fist for a few seconds and then go back out now and do big extension of all those fingers. A Little bit longer and you can release. Wiggle that out a little bit, nice little hand. Massage, hand stretch there. All right, so now we're just gonna go, we're gonna uh, get some of our back and our chest in. We have some time here and uh, we'll be done. So we're gonna start with our chest. So if you do have that um, uh, massage ball, if you wanna use the roller, you can, or you can just do some nice uh, massage. We're gonna start massaging up those pectoral muscles, those chest muscles. Um, getting over towards the shoulder, going all the way in towards um, the middle of the chest. Just massaging out those chest muscles. 
Know that if you're hitting something hard, it's probably your bone. So move to the squishy stuff. Yes. Um, and don't be afraid to get up in over into those armpits. Um, you know, the, those chest muscles go all and connect all up in there. So feel free to get all in there. If you find those spots, there's like a nice knot or something, you can really press into that and kind of roll and do circular motions and really get a nice uh, release of that there too. So, and it shouldn't be hurting. So if you're finding a spot that's extra tender, be gentle. All right. So we're just going to um, stretch out our chest a little bit. So we're gonna sit back, you're gonna get those arms and you're just gonna open that chest up nice and wide. So I just have my hands together, pulling that back, looking up into the sky, I'm opening that chest up. I'm feeling this even in my biceps a little bit. I'll hold this here for a moment, take a few deep breaths and we'll do it one more time. All right, keep holding that there for five, four, Three, two, one, and you can release for a moment. Shake it out a little bit, and we'll do one more nice stretch for that um, chest. All right, let's put those arms back. Let's open that chest up, look up, and feel that nice stretch. To keep those shoulders away from those ears, really opening up that chest. Take some nice deep breaths while you're here. Just a few more seconds. All right, and everybody can relax. All right. And now let's try to get over into that back. This one's a, a lot easier if you do have a massager, but you can always start massaging that upper back. I know I get lots of knots and everything up in here, or you can reach back and start massaging that lower back. So I'm just using both my hands and I'm kind of going down my spine um, with my fingers, just giving a nice little back rub here. If you're super weirdly flexible like me, you can get up into those shoulder blades to really start massaging it out. But um, another nice thing too, if you do have one of those uh, massage balls, if you are able to go up against a wall or the back of a chair, you can always hold a massage ball um, up against a wall and you can roll it out. Um, I do that a lot um, against walls to get up and down my spine to really get some of those knots um, around my shoulders. Uh, but those little massage balls are really awesome for that to press up even against uh, like a kitchen dining room chair or something that's hard. Um, you, you will need a hard surface for that but really helps you get up all into those knots. Make sure you're getting both sides of your upper back, your lower back. Another alternate too for your back since, so for myself, I kind of have a hard time. Sorry, I'm not in a good spot to show anybody this. I have a hard time using my fingertips on my mid and lower back. And so I actually like to put my hand in a fist and I use my knuckles to push into those muscles on my lower back. I can't do that on the top half, that'd be really wonky. Um, but just kind of knowing that you can use those knuckles too for that lower back can be really nice. Absolutely. See lots of folks are using those rollers, that is great. Just like the ball, if you can get up against a wall or on a floor too, um, or you've got a friend, significant other, roommate, be like, yo, can I borrow you for five seconds and roll me out like some pizza dough? <laughs> All right, I know the back's one of my favorites. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can get our back stretched out here. So we're just gonna do similarly. We're gonna put those hands in front together. You're just gonna open that back up, looking down, kind of like cat cow, spreading those shoulder, shoulder blades apart really pulling them open, maybe doing a slight lean forward, getting that lower back involved. You're just holding that open there. Just feeling that nice stretch in that upper back, lower back, just keeping that all 
Open wide. All right, you can release for a moment. We'll do that one more time. <clears throat> really feel that nice stretch. All right, let's do that one more time here. Let's open up those shoulder blades. I have my chin to my chest, looking down, just feeling that nice stretch, kind of doing a slight lean forward, kind of feeling that in my lower back as well. Guys are looking great. Feel that stretch here for a little bit longer. Try to take a nice deep breath. All righty, we can release. All right, so together we're just going to take some nice deep breaths together and we will be done. So you're going to put your hands on that diaphragm and when you breathe in, you want to feel like there's a big balloon in your tummy, in your diaphragm. So when you breathe in, your hands should move and when you do a nice breathe out, those hands should go in. We're going to breathe in, we're going to hold it for a few seconds and then we're going to breathe a strong breath out together. All right, so everybody let's breathe in. Let's hold it for a few seconds and then strong breath out. We're breathing in through that nose, out through that mouth. All right, let's do that one more time. In through the nose. Let's hold it. And a big cleansing breath out through that mouth. All righty. Great job, everybody. Sorry for some of the technical difficulties.